This is my brother Jennings, and this year for Christmas, I gave him money, but the kicker is the money is taped to the bottom of a box that sprays fart spray and makes fart sounds when you open it. Check it out. Hey friends, it's Moultrie with Rumble Lab, back with another ridiculous project. Anyway, this one I wanted to do with absolutely zero 3D printing so that if you didn't have a 3D printer, you could make one all on your own. And I'm curious to know, if you had one of these, who would you unleash this bad boy on? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, the way that it works is pretty simple. We actually use the guts from our Devakev kit. So if you got one of the Devakev kits, you're in luck because we're going to try and use these electronic parts for as many of our upcoming projects as possible. Now while it's all pretty simple, it took a bit of trial and error to get it to work, especially because I decided no 3D printing. Basically the way that it works is when the lid is opened, a limit switch is closed, sending power to the microcontroller, which on startup, the microcontroller starts playing sound and moves the servo back and forth. So on paper, and in my mind, that's how it's supposed to work. But I swear, nothing that I ever make ever goes the way that I think it will. For example, with the fart sprayer, I first try to make it as simple as possible and just have the arm to the servo push the fart spray nozzle down. But I learned that these little servos aren't strong enough. So to make the servo strong enough, I had to use a little mechanical advantage by making this lever out of some parts I found at the local hardware store. Basically, with this lever, it takes less force to push the fart spray nozzle, but the lever has to travel further in exchange. And after about a day of trial and error, some scrap wood, some wood that I got from the craft store, and a lot of hot glue, we came up with this. But I bet you want to see what happened when I unleash it on my brother. Now read the note. To you, from me. Sorry, this year's present stinks. I swear to God, it's like a. Here, you do the honors. I'll be daddy. I'll be daddy. It is like I'll that. Open. <laughs> it was supposed to shoot. It didn't work. So, unfortunately that didn't work. Um, it worked in the shop, but what happened was when I left it under the Christmas tree for a week waiting on my brother to open it, the servo, which was hooked up improperly, drained the battery causing it to die. So when he opened it, nothing happened. And since I'm not one to accept ultimate defeat, and because you probably don't want to watch a video where the project doesn't work, I'm going to go ahead and make another one and unleash it on some other people. Let's do it. left to do was throw some of this gold paper in there to make it look less dangerous then throw it in a bag to make it look like a present and then I called some people and told them I had a present for them I don't know which way I should do it I don't want to oh that's oh I see that are you just gonna let it stay fresh Spray fart spray in here. Got you a Christmas present. What do I feel is a trick of some sort. It's really funny. It's a trick. What's in there? You just have to open it to find out. No, I don't want to. Because it's a trick, because you're smelling too hard. George, come here and open this box. Is it a big spider? Open it. I'm gonna aim it towards you and open it. Ah! 
I made my sister a jewelry box. You made this? Yeah. Dude, I love it's kind of it's kind of like I never would have guessed you, you made that. It's kind of rough, but real rough. Oh, I like this shirt. Why are you oh yeah. Oh, is this supposed to squirt me? Oh, no. <laughs> the squirter's not working. Oh, dude, you way. tried to get me in the face with that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I smell it now. Oh, oh god. So you just gonna leave it open? I don't know. It won't close. I want to close. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you get the for it again when you close it. So while my original plan failed, eventually I got it all working. But it was one failure after another. And that's true of anyone who makes things. You've got to be okay with that. It's how you learn, level up, and get better. You should totally try it. I bet you'll surprise yourself. Anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Now you go make something interesting. See ya. Oh yeah, one more thing that just absolutely made my day. We got our first piece of mail. Brighton from Canada sent us a couple of pictures that he drew. And I don't know why, this just makes me so excited. It's, it makes me happy that he took the time to do this. So thank you, Brighton. And I don't know if any of y'all want to send us anything, but if you do, it'll be up here on the wall. And thank you. Thank you for your support this past year. And y'all have a wonderful new year. See ya.